Did you know that Suleiman the Magnificent, the tenth and longest reigning Sultan of the Ottoman Empire, was a poet and a goldsmith in addition to being a fearsome warrior and a shrewd politician, a man of many talents indeed. Born on a chilly November day in 1494, Suleiman came into this world in the bustling city of Trabzon, present-day Turkey. He was the only son of Selim III, and thus, from his earliest days, was groomed for the throne. His education was extensive, spanning languages, science, history, religious philosophy, and the art of war. Suleiman ascended to the throne in 1520, following the death of his father, ushering in what many consider the zenith of the Ottoman Empire. His reign, lasting 46 years, was marked by vast military conquests, architectural extravagance, and flourishing arts. His military campaigns were the stuff of legends. From the gates of Vienna in the west to the shores of Persia in the east, Suleiman's forces spread the influence of the Ottoman Empire. His navy dominated the Mediterranean, the Red Sea, and the Persian Gulf, establishing the Ottomans as a global power. But it wasn't all about war. Suleiman was also a patron of the arts and architecture. Under his reign, the Ottoman Empire experienced a cultural renaissance. He himself was an accomplished poet, writing under the pseudonym Muhibi. He also commissioned many architectural projects, including the Suleymaniye Mosque in Istanbul, which remains a testament to Ottoman grandeur. Yet, Suleiman's reign wasn't free from controversy. His personal life was marked by political intrigue and familial disputes. His beloved wife, Roxelana, was a powerful figure in the empire, often influencing Suleiman's policies. The execution of his eldest son, Mustafa, on suspicion of plotting against him, is a dark chapter in his rule. As we conclude, let's revisit the key points about Suleiman. Born in 1494, he was the 10th Sultan of the Ottoman Empire, ruling for 46 years from 1520. His reign was a golden age of military conquests, architectural wonders, and cultural renaissance. He was a poet and a patron of the arts, but his rule was also marred by familial disputes and political intrigue. We've journeyed through time, from the bustling streets of Trabzon to the grandeur of the Ottoman court. We've delved into the life of a sultan, a poet, a patron of the arts, and a military genius. We've explored the paradox that was Suleiman, a man of war and a man of words. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep asking questions. Every day has a story to tell.